big corporate companies, corporations. Recently, I met representatives from pharma sector to understand their challenges. I promise to support them in a way we can. You dream to, you dream is to reach the sky. We will ensure a rocket to take you there is ready. We in Congress know the value of trust. I'm, I'm announcing here to establish next phase of Genome Valley in 300 acres of land with 2,000 crores investment. We recently announced launch of 10 pharma villages with an investment of about 1 lakh crore. This will develop infrastructure, create jobs, create opportunities for entrepreneurs. We will create over 5 lakh new jobs. At this village, three potential integrated greenfield pharma we have been identified. One is from Vikarabad district, the other one is from Medak district, third one is from Nalgunda district. We are going to create a pharma village, all the three areas, China, three different parts of Telangana. It's nearby Hyderabad airport, hardly one, one and a half hour drive from international airport. So to reach your infrastructure and your investment. At the recently concluded World Economic Forum in Davos, we got, as my industries and uh, IT minister said, 40,232 crore investment in my state. And I am delighted to share that Takeda has decided to set up their manufacturing facility in Hyderabad in partnership with Biological E. I'm most welcoming the, the investment. This facility will make 50 million doses of vaccines each year. As I said, in a world where a virus can create fear, Hyderabad gives hope. I'm happy to share all of you the German company, Miltani, has decided to set up their R&D center in Hyderabad. I'm welcoming the R&D center. <laughs> Finally, it's my delightful duty to congratulate Professor Greg Semenza, Nobel Prize winner, on being named winner of the Genome Valley Excellence Award. <laughs> I once again welcome all of you. Have a successful conference with wonderful experience and find great success. Together, we will shape a healthier tomorrow for all of hum humanity. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much, sir, for your powerful and encouraging words. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I request Mr. Shakti Nagapan, Director of Life Sciences Government of Telangana and CEO of uh, BioAsia, to please come forward to deliver the vote of thanks. Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Minister for Industries and Commerce, Honorable Minister for Health, Western Australia, dignitaries on and off the dais, it is my you know, duty to propose a word of thanks. You know, I thank Honorable Chief Minister for his gracious presence today after a very long time. I thank Honorable Minister for Industries uh, for his consistent support and guidance throughout. Over the past 21 years, BioAsia has immensely grown from strength to strength. And I have had the privilege of wit witnessing it firsthand throughout 13 years as its CEO. This edition of BioAsia stands as the biggest event we've ever had in the history, surpassing all previous benchmarks in terms of scale, quality of speakers, registrations, and more.
participation of several global CEOs and established industry leaders in this forum stands testimony to the unparalleled stature of BioAsia today. Special thanks to our esteemed speakers, sponsors, partners, whose contributions have made BioAsia bigger and better every year. Last but not least, I want to express my deepest congratulations and appreciation to the entire BioAsia team for their tireless efforts and dedication in organizing this event. Once again, thank you so much for being here today and enjoy your time at BioAsia. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Shakti there. Ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed with our next segment, I would like to take a moment to express our